Yesterday, there was brand new footage regarding Jurassic World Dominion. Some of this was behind the scenes, while other clips are in the actual film. And within all of this footage, there are a few dots we can connect. These are some key details for the actual plot. And the first detail I do want to focus on is this image right here. Right off the bat, it might not seem obvious, but as many have pointed out, it does look like Beta is being carried by Owen. It looks very similar to the Tyrannosaurus Rex infant back in Jurassic Park The Lost World, and this does confirm what we were talking about a few days ago. When dinosaurs like Rexy, Blue, and Beta are captured, they are in fact brought to this Biosyn facility, and that right there is one of the main reasons as to why these characters are there. They are trying to save Blue and Beta, and stop whatever plans Biosyn has. Now of course the question regarding this is, where exactly is Blue? Did Biosyn bring her to a different facility, or potentially she may have ran away? The next detail I do want to focus on is Dr. Henry Wu. Ever since the first trailer, there has been a lot of speculation about his character. According to all of his quotes so far, there is clearly some issue within Biosyn. They have had some cloning error, and based on the images from behind the scenes, this likely is regarding the bugs. These are prehistoric creatures, and this is clearly becoming a main part of the plot. Despite that though, it is one part of the film that we don't know much about. These bugs obviously end up out in mainland, and that may very well be the issue. And that might not seem like a vital issue, but we don't know what these bugs are. We don't know what they're capable of, how dangerous they are, or what their purpose is. And with the way Dr. Henry Wu is talking about, it would be interesting for his character character to change. After all of these Jurassic Park films, he finally goes against dinosaur cloning. As for how he would do that, it really is difficult to tell. But nonetheless, it would be a very interesting twist. And the last thing I do want to talk about is the Giganotosaurus. Again, every single time we see this dinosaur, it is becoming much more apparent that they are doing callbacks at Jurassic Park. A lot of these different sequences that Rexy had back in Jurassic Park, they are now being applied to this Giganotosaurus. And that is why they consistently said, instead of focusing on dinosaur hybrids, they are now going back to Jurassic Park roots. You have the close-up of the Giganotosaurus roaring, the same way Rexy did back in Jurassic Park. Now the Spinosaurus also kind of had this moment, but even that was much different. There was the roar, but they cut away from the Spinosaurus right away. With Rexy and the Giganotosaurus, that entire sequence is dedicated to that roar. So again, this just further confirms, they're going back to Jurassic Park roots, and they're utilizing many parallels. For all of you though, what do you think about this? In this brand new footage, what stood out most to you? Write all of your answers down below, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.